What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dustin with Jersey Shore Training Solutions and today we're going to be fixing another yard from flooding with a bunch of catch basins. As you can see all this right here, water comes down from everywhere up here, it comes down, builds up all over everywhere on his patio, everything. So let's get right into it. And here we go. When it rains really heavy, all the water builds up on everything over here. And Okay, you can see the water draining here. It comes from up on that hill there, the water, and beyond the uh, grill there, you see it pooling, and of course, pooling all here. Let me give you a better shot of it. See, we got quite a bit of drainage here, all coming down this area, and in this grass area, quite a bit of it is uh collecting and then goes down towards the front so, anyway you got quite a bit of water here collecting See? my solution for this is to put a catch basin in here we put the catch basin here because all the water comes down from where his pool area is and everything everything just floods this entire area builds up and then continues to flood. So if we stop it where it's coming down, then it shouldn't be flooding out this anymore. Now, we're gonna put a catch basin here, come across, put another catch basin over here, 90 over, over, catch basin, catch basin, another catch basin, come down, come through the grass area, throw another catch basin, another catch basin, and then one more on the other side of this fence right here, continue all the way down, go under the sidewalk, we'll come out right next to the street, right where they already have the storm drain, and put a catch basin at the end, so all the water can facilitate down and pop up at the end. So, let's get started. All right, everyone out there, this is for you that try to DIY it yourselves. You see this right here? They got filter cloth, but they don't have one layer, they have two layers of filter cloth. Now the first filter cloth yeah, is just fine enough to keep uh, the weeds and everything from growing out. But the second one right here, this is not filter cloth. This is supposed to be the stuff they use like on a side of construction sites and everything to hold the debris and everything from washing away. It does not let water go through very well. So putting all this down is going to add of the water not being able to facilitate in the ground and end up flooding your yard. So please, word of mine, only use one layer of filter cloth and use the correct filter cloth, not the roadside assistant stuff. And here we go. Now we have it all dug out. We are under the sidewalk. Didn't hit no cable lines, no electric lines, nothing. So everything is perfect. All the way, all the irrigation. And here we go, we're over a hundred feet. All the way to the back, all the way around. So now we're gonna have to get the catch basins, put everything in, catch basin over there, over there, three behind there, one there, one there, one here. We're on this side, haven't decided yet. Uh, and I'm gonna probably put another one in here and then one all the way at the end. Now to pipe it all up. All right, here we go, everybody. We have it all completely set up. As you can see, starting right here off the patio, I have it downhill to level. So the water's gonna build in, flow over, over to the next one, over here, to this one, which is also downhill to level, all the way down over here. Still downhill to level, hits the corner here and everything's gonna start jetting more. Now we have it even way more downhill to level, about half the bubble. Everything's gonna go, continue on, all the way down. As you can see, we are still completely even more downhill to level, all the way down towards the street. Continue on from the other side of the fence. We are still massively downhill to level. To the last catch basin, and we keep going 
all the way down. Even more downhill to level. All the way out here towards the curb. Completely downhill. There's no more the bubble can move. So the water's gonna jettison all the way to the other side where we'll sit here, build up, come up, and they have slits drilled into all this so that way it can facilitate out through the other side. But this is how you prevent your patio and yard from flooding with catch basins. Now to backfill and show you how it all works. All right, here we go. And we're gonna simulate the rain because what the problem was is everything came off this. It was flooding everything in here and then expanding that way. So if we attack it at the low point where everything goes, we don't have to worry about that. So as you can see, any water that will come down or even just rain on this, off that downspout, anything at all, it's all gonna travel down, come down here, facilitate through the rock and everything else, go in into the catch basin there. It's gonna come over, already over here to this catch basin here. Build up, everything's flowing. As you can see, it's all building up right now. Now it's starting to flow. Get the flow to this one. And shouldn't take long until we start seeing something. Yeah, here it comes already. Flowing over here. On the next one. It's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna build up. Start facilitating in that one. Going down here to the next one. Because like I said before, all the water, you see how the grade is, everything just slopes here. Everyone's yard and even the neighbor's yard behind them. So everything floods in. So this is all underwater, which I will be adding the little video clips into there so you guys can see themselves right here. Then as you see, it gets over here, builds up into this one. Goes in, it's going around. I'm still putting the grass back. But as you see, we get to the next one. Water just keeps coming down and I have the catch basin so that way you can also get any surface water running off. And I put rock all the way around the whole thing so that way it can absorb the water that's in the ground too to help bring it up and move it to get all this water flowing away. Because that's what we want. We don't want a big lake anymore. So as you can see right there, it's flowing. And we got this one down over here. Water should be coming into, yep, here comes the water now, plus a spider. And yeah, I haven't, I gotta clean this one out a little bit from the dirt. But yeah, you see that? Water's picking up again, getting ready to go. And I think the spider's about to go for a lovely fun ride. Keeps going, keeps going. And there goes the spider. So we should see him over here at this one. And as you can see over here, like I said, everything's already starting to absorb the water into the ground. Look at that, there goes the, oh, it's going, it's going, it's moving. Spiders now coming down to the next one. And here's the last catch basin in the run. We got everything going. Going, oh, and then he just went down again. But this is how it works, it just keeps going. And now this is gonna be shooting drastically all the way down here at the end. And then I just gotta wait for this one to build up to facilitate through these cracks. Because I couldn't make it any higher then it would throw off all the system but as you can see and here comes the water just like that now it's going to build up the little mini drywall here and then as it's building up it's going to keep building up facilitate out and over into the yard so that spider just went for a really really fun ride trapped a little bit of this dirt back over here but now all this is gonna do is just build up and build up until it overflows. So cut back in there then. And here we go, this is how it works. After all the water comes down, this built up, comes through, 
saw cracks that somebody else made comes out and goes right into the drain and again for all those that always keep asking me no I, in my state I cannot just bore right through yes it would have been perfect it would have worked great but now the burr bore through the concrete and I can't break this and put the pipe all the way through but this is exactly how it's supposed to work water comes out drains away bam this is how you prevent your backyard and patio from flooding with catch basins as always like share comment subscribe and until the next one